Hey, good morning, everyone. So, in this uh, video, we're going to be talking about um, creating the flat colors for any type of image you you need, like a comic or illustration or stuff. So, why are um, flat colors important? Because you need to actually have some basic colors, and then you can paint over them. And in case um, I don't know some production designer or stuff like that needs. To you to change the colors you can actually do it super easily so there are multiple ways of creating a flat color so you can see here I have an image for uh, one of my comics and I have here the ink layer which I am turning on and off and I'm gonna create a uh, color layer uh, beneath it so I'm just gonna name this color and there are multiple ways of flattening things so let, let's not be worry about the actual color at the moment so let's talk about flattening in Procreate you can do it the traditional way the, the traditional the standard way to say by just calling coloring in and blocking in the color by stroking 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 it so this is boring Right? This is boring and it takes a lot of time. Another way you can do it is by, uh, well, just circling an area, uh, creating an outline for an area like this, and afterwards filling it by dropping in the color. This is nice, but this also can take a lot of time, especially for a complicated um, image with a lot of details and stuff like that. Another way you can do it is by duplicating the ink layer, renaming one of them to color, and then just dropping the color within the lines. And this works, especially if you're working with images like this one, which has really bold outlines and um, it has line work everywhere. You can do this. This works. But then again, you're, you're going to have all the colors um in one uh, on only one um, layer like this because if you go you say create another layer here and you drop it it's gonna color everything because it no longer knows where to put the actual color so in we have another we have another option here so um one of the coolest things about this Procreate app is that you can just go here in the layers, select your ink layers, click on reference here, and what this will do is create, uh, is not create, but use this uh, ink layer as a reference for all the layers underneath it. So, for example, if I go to the color layer, I can choose a color and drop it here, and then I can choose another color and drop it here, and you have here colors on the same layer because that's my uh, my uh, option if you click off the um, the ink you turn off the ink layer you can see that it has colored everything within the ink borders within the reference borders the cool thing is that this reference uh, layer will act as a reference for all the layers underneath so for example if you want to flat on different different layers for each uh, piece you can just I'm coloring this uh, the shirt here on this layer and then I'm clicking add another layer and I'm coloring in the lapels here right and then I'm clicking on another layer and coloring in the skin whatever let's call the skin of this uh, of this character here right and then I'm clicking on new layer and I'm coloring in the um, the beak okay the upper side of the beak and then I'm I'm creating a new layer and I'm coloring in the um, the inner beak the lower beak the inner part right and then I'm clicking on another layer and then I'm coloring in the antennae and then I'm clicking on another layer <laughs> and putting in the background so it's as simple as that. This is super, a super, super simple way to 
flat and image in Procreate 4.1 and you can actually do this um, on different layers and then you can play around with with the um, individual layers and create masks on them and just um, change the hue and stuff like that you can also use alpha lock on this one for example if I want to which one is the face and I want to actually change the color so I'm gonna use a flat brush so I'm actually changing the color I can also do this by drag and drop right and you can use here uh, you can just uh, add some effect I mean paint over it if you want to get something done and this will, will use the entire layer not just a selection as it um, as select automatic selection does of course let's turn alpha lock off you can select if you go on this layer you can select by using automatic here and the cool thing is that the threshold is really high up using this method so you, there's um, very little uh, chance of bleeding into the other color colors if you're using the select tool of course if you go to 100% you can see you're gonna select some other stuff also but you're safe at 99.6 which is quite a lot so yeah that's the fastest way to flat an image in, um, in Procreate 4.1 click on the layer activate reference and then just start flattening it by dragging color on any other layer underneath it when you're done with this uh, you need to actually take the reference off by clicking it on it again so now it will be just a um, just a normal ink layer also you cannot have two reference uh, layers at once so if I have this one as reference I can just go in and color it by dropping and if I go here and click on the other ink layer as reference it will just switch reference layers it will not act as um, double reference or something like that yeah okay so that's it that's uh, that's the easiest way to flatten an image in um, Appropriate 4.1. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Cheers.